Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by our documentation to learn all about Divi's post navigation module. So this is an excellent way of adding a bit of uh, interest to other content on your website when someone's viewing um, a post or page. You can add um, a post nav module that will show them other posts that you want them to see and invite them to click on it and go check it out. So we're gonna show you how to implement that in different places on your website and how to customize it in this documentation video. Check it out. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of the post navigation module. The post navigation module allows you to create customizable navigation links within each of your blog posts using the Divi Builder. This allows users the ability to easily go back and forth to next and previous posts on your blog. With this module, you can customize the text of each navigation link to pull the post title or give it your own custom name like next or previous. You can even choose to navigate within a certain category of posts, which further enhances the user experience. Let's go ahead and get started going over uh, some of these settings within our post navigation module. To do that, I'm gonna jump over to the visual builder and we're going to take a look at the settings by hovering over the module. Right here, I have my post navigation module down here with my two links, one to the next post and one to the previous. Let's go ahead and check out the settings. Once I click it, uh, you'll see my settings mode will pop up over here to the left. Under the content tab, I have the ability to customize the previous link text and the next link text, which are the two main links that make up the post navigation module. Uh, the previous link currently is taking on the default setting, which is to pull the name of the post that it's linking to. In this case, photo power, the ultimate success formula. And the next link is pulling from the next post title, which is post navigation. So if I wanted to override this, I could create my custom name here for each of my links. In this case, I could just use the word previous for my previous link text, or I could just use next. Um, I could, you know, of course, name it whatever I want. Um, I could also uh, use this variable option. And if you click on this little helper icon question mark, it'll remind you that you can use this uh, variable, basically, which is a percentage sign and the, and the name title. Um, and if you include that in this input box here with some other text, if you want, for example, I could say go to and then include this variable. It will pull from the post title that it's going to be linking to and uh, get that name and, you know, input it there wherever the variable is. So now instead of just reading the title, it's going to read go to the custom text I have before it along with the title that it's going to, of the post it's linking to. So it's a very um, helpful way to customize your links down there. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as its default for now. And we're going to go on to our next section, which is categories. This option simply allows you to link to other posts within the same category as the current post. So for example, this post has the photography category. And if I click on this button, uh, I'm not gonna do it yet, but you'll notice that the links names down here will change because these links are, are currently linking to the next post in general, uh, just the next post in the order that it was published, um, and also the previous post in the order that it was published. But I can do the same thing, but only within this same category as the current post. So if I change this option here to yes, you'll notice that these names change. I have some mock text there with some mock posts, but these posts will also have or also share the category of photography. So this is helpful to organize your posts and uh, your navigation links to create a better user experience. This option down here allows you to define a taxonomy name that you want to go ahead and filter your posts by. So uh, for example, if you are using this module 
in something other than a post or a project, like a page, for example, if you're using the post navigation module on a page and you're wanting to link to other pages of the same category, or in this case, taxonomy, then you would put that taxonomy name there so that you can tell the, um, the module that you're only going to want to be linking to other pages with that same taxonomy name. Leave it blank to keep it uh, as a default if you're using it for posts and projects, which I currently am using it on posts, so I don't need to put anything in the custom taxonomy name. If you get confused, go ahead and read the little help icon text here. It says leave blank if you're using this module on a project or post. Otherwise, type the taxonomy name to make the in the same category option work correctly. All right, moving on. The navigation options here allow you to hide either of these links um, or show either of these links. Um, for example, I could just want, if I wanted to, I could just show the next post to keep the user going forward in, in the uh, progress there. Or I can just choose to um, only have the previous link option available. The background setting here allows you to give a background to your post navigation links here or in this case uh, since I have a border it looks more like a button so I can choose a background if I want to give it a blue background I would then have to go and change my text to a more lighter color so that you can see it better but you get the idea I'm gonna go ahead and take out the background color here for now and let's go ahead and go on to our design tab where we have more options available to design our navigation links the link text can be customized here as you can see I have a uh, custom link font of PT Sans also I've increased the link font size to 20 and I've given uh, my link text color a a nice blue to match my site here also um, I've added a border uh, you can do that to your navigation links I've given my border a one pixel width and a custom color here. Also given my border a style of solid, but you could change it to something like dotted or whatever it is that you want. Like all of our modules, you have the option of changing the width of your module and then going and changing the alignment of it. I'm gonna keep it full width for now. And the spacing options here allow you to give a custom margin or custom padding to your navigation links. And as you can see here, I have some custom padding here, which kind of gives me some breathing room around my text and uh, or between my text and my border here. I could add a box shadow to my links here to give some depth if I wanted to, along with some animation that would allow you to, you know, make those links pop out whenever the user scrolls to them when reading your posts. In addition, uh, you all always have these advanced options available which allow you to give a unique CSS ID or class if you are trying to style this from an external style sheet. Or if you want to, you can use these uh, convenient boxes uh, which allow you to give some inline CSS to any of the elements for this certain module here. And of course you can choose to disable this module uh, on certain devices like phone or tablet or desktop. And that takes care of our settings, but before I go, just wanted to show you how easy it is to add a post navigation module to your post. Now, I am using a visual builder, and this is a custom post. As you can see, I have my title there along with my you know, custom text set up along with some quotes. But at the bottom here, uh, I can choose to enter my new post navigation module. In this case, I'm just going to delete this one. And to add a new, I'll just 
click add new uh, module icon there and I'll do a search for my post navigation module and then I'll go ahead and click it and you'll see that right out of the gate it will um, do a lot of things for you like pull the the previous post title for you and also your next post title for you automatically but uh, it will take on the default uh, theme accent color that you have set so you'd want to go in and change that uh, fairly easily but there you go there's your overview of the post navigation module